Hello, so it's Chris Gobra here, um, just doing a vlog about <coughs> much recently set up uh, Ubuntu Linux on my desktop PC. So I thought I'd investigate um, what kind of capabilities there are in terms of like music production, because obviously a lot of software is free because it's open source. Um, so I'm going to download a few um, music software like software synths, VSTs, music sequences, etc and just check them out. So I downloaded a few pieces of software. I downloaded Hydrogen which is like a drum sequencer which we've not had a chance to properly check out yet. And the LMMS music production software which I had a play around today. Pretty easy to get set up actually. I just you know I got MIDI set up within ten minutes. Um, made like a little bit of noise and drone which I'll show you next in about 15 minutes so pretty easy software to use actually I mean if you use anything like Reason or well it's not so much like Reason but I'm not, I'm not really that aware of how that works anyway but it's pretty similar it's got step synchronizers, piano rolls uh, effects pressure this reminded me a bit of Live actually which I've not used that much but it's kind of similar-ish similar -ish to that but not so much. Uh, it's more the effects plugins and the kind of effects chains that you could get going, and it kind of reminded me of live in a way. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, all this stuff's free, so I can't really complain about that. So it's worth checking out. I want to certainly be experimenting a bit more in the next few days, see what the possibilities are, and just try and make some tr half decent tracks. I guess all just sketches. So yeah. This is the interface for LMS, which I've just been playing around on earlier on. So you've got uh, step editors here, like so you got like triple oscillators, you got triple oscillator synthesizer, samples, beats. You could just which you could program in there and stuff. Automation, which not really looked into much. You got a mixer down here, and you can add your effects changes to each channel. Uh, uh, tempo, so it's pretty standard kind of sequencing software, but it's quite cool. Uh, this is the what we worked on just. The last few minutes, last sort of like twenty minutes, we just did this messing around shit. Doesn't really sound like much, but you know, it's kind of just like fucking around, really.